promised we'd be back. And we're about to fight a giant ogre. And I don't know what I'll talk about this week. Or today. This week. I don't know. Maybe the jack with honey is kind of getting to me. But we'll find out in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Okay, we are back. Chasm it is. Get our... Ooh, I can just punch. I had me in fast track backwards. God, that just defies logic. Okay, just off screen, there's an ogre. We shall defeat the ogre. Oh, ouch, that hurt. Come on. No. No. You can't hit me with that. That's it. Oh. Ouch. Uh, inventory. Let's eat an apple. Let's eat another one. There we go. Now we got some health. That's keeping good distance. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yep. Get in, Cully. Oh, look at you. You're dead. Hey. We found somebody else. Well, thank you for your assistance. I am Professor Bosden of the Gildian Academy of Science. I first arrived at Carthas. Nearly a year ago, searching for the remnants of King Carl's caravan. While staying in town, I learned of the ancient paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, they were made by an undiscovered tribe that lived here nearly 1,000 years ago. I named them Ladoki after these mountains and began to devote all of my time to researching them. They were very interesting people. But their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. My work was going swimmingly well until something sneaked up on me and knocked me out. Like a giant ass ogre? I believe we have a common interest in finding out why people both ancient and modern keep disappearing here. Miners were the last were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should be Begin our investigation there. Oh. Come now. Together we can open the gate to the lower levels of the mine. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the lower levels of the mine. Whatever those worms are. Let's do this. What's over here? Uh, darkness. Darkness prevails. Okay. In through the door? I don't know. I really don't know. That's a closed off entry. That just looks out into the background. No, safe spot. Let's go on ahead and save here. Because that's one of the things with this game. You get one life. What's in there? Oh! Aru! There we go. Oh, that's handy. That's very, very handy. That's handier than, like, a prostitute on Hennepin Avenue at 2 o'clock in the morning. Not that I am speaking from experience. Okay, we've already been there. Let's go back over here.
Whoa, jeez. Louise. That's not good. Come on. There is no way that old professor dude is nimble enough to do this. talked about Cub Scouts with my brother. We talked about cultural misappropriation scouts with my dad. Or guys with my dad. Um, what else? So needless to say, growing up, it was pretty much my brother's and I making my mother crazy. Pretty nice house with oh it's got that formal living room in the front that nobody ever uses I mean seriously all my friends had formal living rooms the only time you ever used them was during Christmas or Thanksgiving hell we've got a formal living room that we've turned into uh, the mom's office now under uh our, our current, we'll use the term the game grumps use, Back, Backstreet Boys Reunion uh, Tour. Uh, why? Because it is a plague upon the land. Uh, but, yeah, so, and inside of that room, I mean, we had a fireplace that we never used. Ooh, leather belt, a little... was able to get the leather belt, so yay me. Um, it, it was the untouchables. The room with all of the untouchables. Um, which included this... Okay, I've already been there. This little porcelain figure, and by little, I don't actually mean little. He's probably about 18 inches tall, uh, a foot in diameter. He, he was a pretty big porcelain figure, and we were roughhousing one day, chasing around the house, and lo and behold. I don't remember what got the better of the porcelain figure, but something got the better of the porcelain figure. And it uh, took a pretty big blow to the head, which of course cracked it into a thousand, thousand pieces. Uh, normally this would have been a death sentence. Um, but not this time around. My oldest brother, uh, the same one that uh, took his camp, sat there with super glue and glued this thing back together to the point where you could not see where it had 
succumb to being broke. Um, I mean, if you've ever tried to assemble or reassemble a broken porcelain item, that's that's the epitome of ludicrous. You will always see the cracks. You will always have trouble putting it together. I mean, this is the type of thing that just isn't done. Let's go ahead and save again. And yet, he did it. And he did it so well that, quite honestly, it wasn't until maybe eight years ago that she even noticed. I mean, we are talking darn near 40 years of not noticing that this thing was broken. Okay, maybe not that long, but I mean, it was 30. Um, <laughs> yes, we wholeheartedly expected there to be <sighs> death and betrayal. Um, as a result of that broken statue. But, you know, it was, and she got over it. Still sits there, next to the fireplace that never gets used. Um, uh, but yeah, that was kind of one of those, again, weird memory. I don't remember what it was. I'm sure I probably brother just did not want me to face that wrath. Just like uh, the hole in the bathroom door that was caused by, I think, a broomstick. Although, if you ask my brothers, that may have been caused by a knife. Um, at least that's the story they stick to. Uh, yeah, I keep on going back here. Uh, that is the story for another day. Oh, God. Dang it. Okay, there we go. So, next time on the Gaming of Dad Show, we'll try to figure out where we're going. Bye bye. So, here's a video and a subscribe link. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment, all that goodness. Thank you.